Hello, my friends, Brian King here. As someone with ADHD, you probably can relate to the fact that we have a tendency to overthink and overcomplicate things. Well, I'm all about simplicity, and you might not believe that a lot of the best strategies are the simplest ones to apply. And I'm always learning something from my clients and the members of my free group. And I learned something recently that was really exciting, uh, mainly because of its simplicity and its impact. And I don't know if there's a name for it. You might even be familiar with this or already practice it yourself. And it's kind of a reverse to-do list. So as opposed to starting your day with the list of the things that you intend to do, because if you're anything like I used to be, that list can be 100 items long, feel completely overwhelming because it's not prioritized, it's not sorted out. So you end up procrastinating and things just don't get done. Is this making sense? Does this sound familiar? But the reverse to-do list is actually a written record of what you actually did. And I can tell you for me, with my working memory, I can often forget what I did during the course of the same day, let alone the beginning of the week. So a couple of the members, ladies, of course, in my group, explained this process to me that is simply just writing down something after you've accomplished it. And I started doing it finally, you know, because we always get around to things immediately, don't we? I finally started doing it beginning of the week. And I got to tell you, I'm absolutely loving it. And I can't show you everything that's on it because some of it is confidential. Let me see what I can cover up. But with my chicken scratch, you know, with my poor handwriting because of the MS and everything, it's a... Uh, I can talk about breakthroughs I had with my clients, uh, bills that I paid, aha moments, people that I've helped out, all of these little things that maybe I would discount. But when you look at them and you see, man, my attention was on being helpful and being patient and helping people feel better about themselves. And if you do these things throughout the day, you can miss these little moments because often the shinier things are the things that get our attention and the little things get missed out. But when you start keeping a record like this, you start to really get a sense of just what you're putting out into the world or areas where you could put out a little bit more, but there's some resistance. But days where I felt like I didn't accomplish too much because I was fatigued or in pain or needed more self-care, I can look back at this list and say, wow, Maybe I didn't do a great number of things, but did I make a difference? Heck yeah, look at this list. I only did a couple things, but they mattered. So just having this written record is really powerful. And I got to say, I've been saying for years, being transparent with you, I've been saying for years that I can't write anymore. Uh, my hands are too weak. I can only do my signature. And what I'm finding is that a lot of this at least in my case, was if you don't use it, you lose it kind of thing, is I was so used to typing everything and using voice to text that well, the muscles kind of atrophy a little bit because I'm finding that as I'm writing more, my ability to write more is increasing. Now, I don't know that this is true for everybody with the conditions I have, one of which is MS, but in my case, it is. So I'm excited about the fact that I'm writing a little bit more because frankly, I kind of missed it. As someone who likes to write poetry and write down quotes and stuff, this has kind of opened up a new way for me to experience the information that I gather throughout my day. So I just wanted to share this little technique with you if it's something you were unfamiliar with. I encourage you to try it because it's simple. You just need a piece of paper, a little notebook, a pen or a pencil to just log those little things that you did and contributed each day, not just the tasks like, oh, I did the laundry, I dropped off the dry cleaning, I ran to the grocery store, stuff like I was there for a friend who just needed to be heard. And you may think, oh, that's just how I am. That's just how I roll. Yeah, but if it becomes too much habit, you take it for granted and forget that it matters, that it's making a difference. And these are things that you owe yourself to be conscious of because it reminds you that your place in this world 
matters. You matter. And this can all come from just a little, look what I've done list. So take this, utilize it, let me know how it works for you. Please leave me comments about your experience or if you're going to take this challenge on. And by all means, share it with somebody that you think can benefit. And until we talk next, this has been Brian. Thanks for being you.